Hey guys, I'm so excited. Guess what I've bought? Well, you, it could be anything, couldn't it? Do you know what? I'm, I'm not a vegan as such. I mean, I do eat fish. But I have a brand that is all about sustainable clothing. And what I am interested in is protecting things and doing the best I can possibly do. And, you know, I'm not a saint and I'm not the most successful person at it. I make mistakes. I make compromises that I don't really like to make, you know, as we all do, because you have to live a life that you can live realistically. But a while ago, about two years ago, I'd explored the possibility of vegan bows and there wasn't any opportunity anywhere to buy one. There there was one company that I'd found, but they couldn't tell me what the bow was made of. But things have progressed and I have bought today a vegan cello bow and I'm so excited. Um, now, I won't give you a proper review of it now because it hasn't come yet. It's coming tomorrow before one. But the thing is, it's a synthetic... Um, oh, there's Romeo. Off he goes. It's a synthetic... Um, string that they use so it's not horsehair right and it's a, a composite um, mixture of carbon fiber which actually I don't think is necessarily the best for the planet but you know is is it better than wood I mean the the wood is cut down from trees so you know I mean obviously one wonders I mean I, I haven't compared them but it's a composite which I think is part fiber part wood pulp something like that I'll find out for us so that we can um, be a bit more knowledgeable about these things. Anyway, it's being delivered tomorrow at one, but before one. But the thing is, you need to, a very sticky rosin on it. So I've ordered the rosin, but I had to get the rosin from a different place, a different company, actually a violin shop in Wales, believe it or not. And I'm probably going to have to wait a few days for that to arrive before I can play. Um, although a sticky rosin, I mean, they did say something about the the gold rosin, and I do have that. It's got little flecks of, of gold in it. So I'll see. I don't want to ruin it. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to F up royally and, uh, you know, have a coating of something on the, the fibres that just simply doesn't work properly. Um, so, yeah, I, I just thought that's fantastic for us, isn't it? But if, the thing is, if you buy a second-hand cello, that's straight away that is sustainable yeah even if you know you go for a sort of high-end expensive one um it's probably been around for a hundred years or something do you know what I mean it's, and this is really exciting and now you can get this this bow with with similarly um you know ethical using ethical resources and I'm absolutely really overjoyed now, there's a Cello Bella, I think that's her name. She's a cello teacher on YouTube. And I checked, I was looking for various um, synthetic cellos and carbon fibre cellos uh, and comparing them. I wanted to compare them. I did do a blog entry, actually, so that you can, you know, if you're interested. I mean, it, it, so it gets you can go down a rabbit hole, really, and I probably did. Um, but she played both bows, and I preferred the synthetic bow I preferred the sound and I thought wow that's really interesting and I haven't played my cello for a few months because I broke my bow and I can't bear the bow I've got I just had a little go on it I absolutely loathe it it's horrific absolutely horrific although I'm going to practice in a minute on my electric cello so um I I did my research and it's really important guys to do your research and and to have a look round but the you know the ability to walk around and say i've got a vegan cello bow i mean i'm going to really brag about that and i'm bragging to you guys first off um so yeah if you now listen if you don't play the cello but you're thinking about it or you want to play you want to start an instrument for this for the winter because the winter's a really good time to start playing because there there are a lot of you know, rainy days and cold nights when it, it keeps you jolly warm. Do you know that? Playing cello keeps you warm. I promise you. you. You're, you know, you're very active when you do it. 
and you're concentrating and you've got all this blood going, especially if you start doing quick passages and you do your scales really quickly. Um, but also, you know, the, we're, there's a lot of downtime in winter, you know, and I don't know about you guys, but I am so, so bored of TV and I can't bear to watch the news at the moment and all this awful, you know, the poor Palestinians. I, I, I'm really struggling um, to, to watch these terrible reports. And prior to that, we had um, Ukraine. And prior to that, I mean, Ukraine's still going on. You'd never know it. And prior to that, we had COVID. And it feels like for the last sort of four years or however long it's been, we've had nothing but grim, you know, news bulletins. And and it's so awful. And I thought, no, we, guys, we've got to do something about it. We've really, I mean, I've got the music therapy channel. I thought that would help a bit. And I'll be doing, we're spending a day on music therapy a week. So I'll probably do that tomorrow while I'm waiting for the cello day. I was going to do cello day tomorrow, but... Um, anyway, I'm digressing. What I wanted to say was, if you're thinking about starting cello, I'm starting at nothing, so I'll be telling you the names of the strings, and we're doing 10 minutes a day to learn how to play. Um, I mean, that's really good, isn't it? 10 minutes a day. But, of course, what I'll do, I'll sneakily put in three or four 10-minute-a-day broadcasts. And you, you can do your 10 minutes a day, or you can do, you know, 10, 10 minutes a day. It's up to you. Do you see what I mean? Um, and that's that's how I'll do it. I'll I'll sneak it in there with you know, and people will be hopefully not notice that they're spending two hours a night practicing. <laughs> I mean, that's what you you know. If you go down a really nice rabbit hole and you're doing this lovely piece that you really like, and you're sounding gorgeous, so I'm going to really focus on sounding gorgeous from the very onset. Sounding gorgeous doesn't mean racing along, trundling along, you know, to race at a, a, a rate of knots. That d- doesn't necessarily sound gorgeous. You need to slow it all down and treat each note with the respect it deserves. And when you can make a single note uh, sound gorgeous and beautiful and everybody around you is going, well, that sounds a bit good, that you, you're on to a winner, do you see? So um, that's my kind of thing for the winter to get us all sounding really good. But I'm starting from scratch again. I've, I've, I have done a lot of lessons previously and I was teaching, you know, online... But things have changed a bit now and it's, you know, it's time to sort of relaunch them, revamp the, the, the episodes a bit, not be so long. I tended to ramble, I think. I mean, I did today's one. I still rambled. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm a bit of a chatterbox. I can't be helped. But I, I sort of think, well, do you know what? If you're learning the cello and the idea of the Suzuki method is that you, you have a parent who's very much involved well, what about if your parent is not around? What about if your parent is so lacking in musical skills, <laughs> which is a common a condition of parents, you know? Um, what, how how do you do it then? And I thought, well, this is where I need to be a bit of a foster parent f- for the purpose of the lessons, you know? And so maybe a bit of a chat is, is good. Just, you know, hope you're OK. I mean, it's a one-sided chat, Unless you sign up. If you sign up to the broadcasts, then, of course, it's it's no longer one-sided, is it? Um, because you can chat to me on the chat box and you can send me your samples. You can record on your phone your practice and say, what do you think of this? Um, am I doing the right thing? Et cetera, et cetera. I mean, that's, what you, that's one of the perks of being a member. And you get little 10-minute um, workshops at, every month you know and all these little things and you also get certificates which is really nice and I don't care if you're 40 I'm going to give you a certificate when you finish book one I'm just going to do that I mean we all need praise it doesn't matter if you're 14 or or 100 praise makes people perform better and it makes them proud and and pride is a great thing I mean they say you know pride is a bad thing well it is if if it's a vanity but if you're proud because you worked really really hard to to get this you know wonderful piece at at the standard it is and your musicianship is shining through you've got every right to be proud every right to be proud so um so anyway the the audios are all free and you can listen to those on this show but the and along with all the audio books, I'm going to upload a few chapters because I've neglected it the last couple of days. I'll do that now. Um, 
so the audio book, books are free, but they do have ads. But the videos are for members only over at the site. And you have to sign up for those. And I'm, it is £20 a month, I'm afraid, but you get so many lessons. I mean, you know, t- tons of lessons. So it's really, it's really worth it, guys. Honestly, it is. So there we go. That's it for today. Um, Chatterbox, Chatterbox. And um, I'm just going to go and upload a couple more chapters of our audio book. I've also finished another rat, rat Gang picture. I really like it. I really like it. So I'll upload that. And I'm doing it on a hoodie. So there's, if you go to the shop, actually, at Telltale Club Academy of Arts, we've got a shop now. And if you go there, you'll see the the new hoodie. It's really, really super, honestly, and not too, too expensive. I mean, these things are bespoke. They're made to order, you know, so they're they're pricey to do, unfortunately. But what everything's pricey except a, a membership at the at the academy, which I think is really good value for money. But there we go. I would, wouldn't I? Okay, guys, speak to you tomorrow.